we... Uh, the modern manager prepares his tactics rather like a general in warfare. And we're going to show you now a very different piece of film. In fact, I think it's the first time that this kind of thing has ever been shown on television. Ken Furphy of Watford is one of the best young managers in the game today. His team are the third division leaders, but of course in taking on Manchester United in the FA Cup, they had an unusual task. How can you plan to beat the genius of players like Law, Charlton and George Best? Now, you can see the Watford team talk just before last Saturday's FA Cup tie and watch Furphy preparing his players for what's to come. He's running now through the United team. Dunn, Burns, Fitzpatrick, James, Stiles, Morgan, Best, Charlton, Law and Satori. So it looks as though they're leaving Clarendon out. He's supposed to be fit, but they're not quite too sure about him and they're keeping Rimmer in. Uh, this Rimmer, the goalkeeper, is a newcomer, uh, but he had a very impressive game last week. His handle of the cross balls was very, very good, and he kicked a good uh, right-footed ball. He's a left-footed thr arm, th uh, left arm thrower, by the way, Barry. He kicks right-footed and throws with his left arm, and he prefers to throw the ball. I think eight yeah. with his left hand. Yeah, eighty percent of his clearances were thrown balls out to Bobby Charlton or out to the fullbacks, and he very, very rarely used the long ball. It was difficult to fault him at all on his game last week, lads. He dealt with the high crosses. He nailed the angle well. He's very, very. Uh, good at shouting to the defenders to get the ball back. He did it all quite well. The only thing he didn't seem to do well was with the goal that scored against him. It was a low drive and he seemed to be far too late making up his mind up to dive. Well, it could be a pointer, okay, that he isn't so good getting down on the ground. Quite a big fella. And as we all know, big goalkeepers are pretty good up there, but the not a lot of good ones can get down very, very quickly. So if we can, we've got to keep these balls very, very low when we're testing him. The two full-backs, we've got uh, Dunn and Burns, now, we both know these two are pretty good players, and uh, the best thing about them is their speed. They're very, very quick. There's no doubt about it at all. Very good attacking players. Uh, Burns all a short ball player, as far as we can notice from the films. He sticks the ball about very, very short, <coughs> rather than using the long ball all the time. And uh, here again, it's him that lays balls to Charlton. It's him that gives ball to Fitzpatrick. It's this kind of a play. He's always looking for the short build-up, rather than getting the ball down, hitting the penetrating ball right down the line or up to the centre forward. The weaknesses on both these two, as we know, I think they're over adventuresome. And I'd link Fitzpatrick in that as well, the right half. Okay, these three players are inclined to take risks going forward without thinking if they've got any cover or whatever the responsibilities are behind them. In other words, if they see a good attacking position, they're off. Not thinking, well, if it breaks down or the ac ball's not accurate, no one's covered me, there's no one double for me, so they're in trouble. Fitzpatrick, a bit of a problem. We saw him make his debut, George and I, some years ago. And he's a very aggressive little player. Uh, you know, and he's in the game all the time. And he earns his money, there's no question about that. Uh, his shirt hanging out and all this kind of business long. It doesn't make any difference how he can play. He's inclined to be a little bit hot-headed. We saw him on television gesticulating the referee. And he's inclined to be upset. And uh, we can tackle hard boys. And I've no doubt at all if we, if anyone does collide with this boy and tackle him, and if he thinks he's unfair, then he'll, he'll start to lose his head a little bit. And we should take advantage of this, OK? Let him start arguing with the referee. Let's just keep on playing. OK, Terry, if you're up there, start arguing with you. Never mind him. Get goal side of him, OK? And get these three kicks taken quickly. James, well, he's a newcomer. Very difficult to say a great deal about him. And the way they're playing, it looks as though Stiles haven't looked after him an awful lot. In fact, Stiles seems to be taking his man sometimes when he goes down the line instead of James going with him. We've seen enough uh, of Stiles as well. And we know that now I personally think that his player has been affected <coughs> by the responsibility of having to say, well, this centre half's a youngish player and I've got to look after him. In other words, he's, he's being more cautious than he normally is, especially when he plays the England team where he runs about midfield, challenging hard, tackling everybody, putting people under pressure. And he can't afford to do this in his position now. He's got to stay back and be very cautious. Uh, I will read the report from Bert right through about the match last week at the finish. But uh, he did say that this James was quite good in the air and Terry is the point you can uh, look for. Barry, if you're going up and challenging these high balls, he gets up well, but he only knocks them down. He's not like Brian, powering these headers, long distance headers, you know, getting them away 20, 25 yards. All he's doing is getting the ball, but they're plopping down there and they're going over there. And Terry, you can pick all little bits up at the back and chart a little bit laps. Watch the ball, won't he? He's not too keen on marking you, so you should be able to pick them up. Uh, He's right-footed as well, this James Barry, you know, <coughs> to bear in mind if he's got possession of the ball and he's starting to sell you a few dummies. He'll favour going to his right rather than to his left, so be aware of it. Now, Styles, uh, 
as I said, we know we've seen him play so many times, and you know, no question about it, this fellow is a true professional in every sense of the word. His performances in the World Cup uh, proved that. And he, he, I think uh, the team does rely on him a great deal to put players under pressure. We noticed on the television again, on the film we saw, that if he's on the left half flank in attacking positions, he always takes him onto his right foot. Everything is on his left. Unless it's very, very easy to pass on his left foot, he'll use his right foot. Weaknesses again in the air, boys, as you know, he's not very good at all. If we can get him challenged in the air, then uh, we should win this fairly easy, the ball, I should think. We go out to Morgan now. He's a player I haven't seen a great deal of, but he costs an awful lot of money. Uh, and he's just been left out the side uh, and returned last week. Uh, quite good on the ball, but I think overdoes it. Here again, against Estudiantes, he tried over and over again to cut on the inside. He's on the right wing, he held it and held it and kept coming across the field the whole of the time. But Johnny, he will tend to try and take you on and jink up to you, jink up, drop his left shoulder and try to go past you on the right hand side. Okay? So if you're aware of what he's going to do, you're in with a chance. Now, uh, best playing inside right, and Tom, we've given you this responsibility. It was a little bit unusual for you to have to mark this fellow very, very tight. But we all know about him. We've seen he's got a tendency to hang on to the ball too <coughs> long, and they've been trying to get him out this for a long time. He's mm -hmm. so good on the ball, he don't need me to tell you. Mm -hmm. And we've decided what we're going to do, Tom. Lay off him until you've got two men covering around the back of you. Kate, you'll be yeah. pushing up. And uh, Dixie, you'll be drifting back, okay, to get on his right left foot to stop him coming that way. Shut him to the right wing. Keith's got you covered. <coughs> Dixie, you're on his left foot, and then Tom, then go and have a bite at him, okay? So he's liable to go anywhere, Tom, so keep very, very tight on him. Uh, Charlton, as we know, is playing the left half position, number nine on his back. Terry, you've been given this responsibility, okay? We're aware of his limitations, but we're also aware of how he can play. Okay, especially his ball control and his speed and his coming through. And don't forget, right, every time our attack breaks down, get him picked up. Don't let him wander across the edge of the box, he's picking all the throws on. Okay? It's your job. If it breaks down, look for him straight away. And don't hesitate, chase back as hard as you can. Because, as I said, I don't think he'll worry too much defensively. And uh, I think this could be a weakness. It could be a strength for them in the fact that Charlton sets everything going. It's also going to be a weakness because if you can look at his defensive weaknesses, then with him with a chance, he, he doesn't tackle as you know, he'll try to jock here, okay, and try to push it out wide. But he'll always be looking for the ball thrown out. But for instance, as we've said, he places him here, okay, he picks an awful lot of balls up all round here, okay? And this is where we want him stopped. If we can stop him there, I don't think it'll give us a lot of bother. Naturally, very, very dangerous coming on the edge of the box, but I don't think we'll have too much bother there because if you've done your job up here, there won't be any job to do there, Terry, okay? If he does come through with you, Mickey, you'll have to watch him for hitting these long-range shots. 35 yards, get the angles, and he should be all right. Uh, Dennis Law, well, Dennis, as I say, I saw him against Esther. <coughs> no question, I think he got three or four goals in that match, and every one he got through sheer opportunism in the box. So you'll have to pay special attention, Mickey, not if you possibly can. If you do happen to drop a ball because it's coming a bit awkward for you and it bounces off or you can't get to it properly, then make sure you make your recovery as quick as you can. Be aware of this following it. Chaps follow everything in, no matter what, what if the cause is lost and it's hopeless, he's following it in all the time. You know, it's a bit spring in the air, to say the least, OK? So, but you're pretty good in the air yourself, so I don't think that should give you any bother. Uh, doesn't do a lot of work, I don't think, midfield, anything like that, but apparently every now and then he drifts right away back here, like the Dennis Law of old used to do, you know, when he played a midfield, well, a supporting player. And every now and then, he, apparently last week, he did go back into very, very deep positions. If he does that, well, I'll just let him go. And I know you, you and Keith can sort it out. So on the left wing, we've got Satori, and we've said about this lad, he's a fairly straightforward player, good player, another good professional. He works hard all the time. Inclined to come on your inside more than anything else, uh, Duncan, you know, and he'll try and draw you in and draw players over there. Okay, so I think if you put him under as much pressure as you can, don't give him time to draw a cover around you and someone inside, and then he's got a spare player to play to. If you can, put him under immediate pressure, and I think you'll find he'll try and come across the inside of you. On the film, they never made no attempt to go past on the outside, did he? Uh, from what we saw, he was always checking back, going down the line, checking back, a bit like we tell Brian to do on the edge of their box, Brian, OK? So you'll have to watch this. Well, I think that's the main thing, as we've approached this match in the right way, right? We're all fully prepared for it. There's nothing more we can do. And I think it's, uh, this is a real challenge for you fellas, lads. OK, just a minute. It's a real challenge, that's the way I look at it, for you as individual players. I mean, this is the chance to show, you know, whether you can play or not. So I, I, we get a lot of criticism about being third division managers and third division players, right? I mean, it's a chance. You're, in, you're playing against the first division side, the European champions. And I'm waiting, you will see now whether you can play. 